Well, Chris, a dramatic night, a dramatic end. Lots to digest, I suppose. Just sum up your emotions after seeing that performance from your players today. It always seems to be when we come here, doesn't it? Uh, and, be and between both clubs, there's always drama. And even from the off, even if the first five or ten minutes, about 72 VAR decisions going going on. So, uh, yeah, I mean, listen, even before, you know, we had, uh, we had some knocks, you know, losing a nail, and there was a couple of other boys that, you know, Ollie Mack really couldn't play... Uh, a, a major part. Hamer's got a bit of an issue that he can't really play a major part in the game as well, and a couple of others as well. So, you know, I should imagine that majority of Sheffield United uh, supporters, when they saw that team, would think, "What's the manager thinking?" But I've seen enough in the players um, recently. Um, I thought the two boys deserved that opportunity, Anis and, and, and Larucci, and they did, and come in and they did a good job for us. And um, and we have to have a structure. You know, uh, we, of course, you know we want to pass the ball a little bit better. Of course, I understand that we want to, you know. Now there's an ironic cheer when we have, we've had a shot, but it's it. You know, we have to get one thing first first in into the players. Which when you come here, you've got to be really hard to beat because there's a couple of results this year where we haven't been hard to beat. So that's first and foremost. And then you look at the amount of opportunities we have to coach these players. You know, this is coming in at this period, so I'm not complaining. It's, it, I've, I've, I've loved it and, you know, it's been an amazing e experience coming back to the club I love. But, you know, this we, we've not got a great deal of time on the training ground to, to work at certain things in terms of structure in possession. So we have to make sure we give ourselves an opportunity out of possession, which we did, and frustrate, which we did. And then... When we need to open the game up, we, we, we did. We found that bit of quality, got us noses in front, and then, yeah, the ball goes up nine minutes. I can't, you know, with the amount of VAR decisions, I suppose that was, <laughs> I suppose that was only natural that it's going to be that type. And we're just a little bit disappointed that um, that we've, we've not managed to see it over see it over the line because we were in. I felt even in going into the nine minutes, we were, we were pretty comfortable, and we've made a, we made a couple of poor poor decisions that's allowed them to to gain that equaliser. You and I spoke after the Chelsea game about the mad 15 minutes and about the need for greater discipline. So roll that on to obviously a team that's in a higher place. How pleased are you that, that they did stick to the game plan then? Well, we, well we, have to, we have to have some sort of structure out, out of possession. And, um, and like you said, we changed the shape a little bit today to, to, uh, to combat because they're a really good team. They've played 15 games at home and they've won 15. They've beat the likes of Man City, they've been the likes of Arsenal, they've beat everybody. So, you know, we had to have a, that structure and, and, and we did. And it allowed us to get a foothold in the game. And we got to half time, we got off to a good start. <coughs> we got to half time. And, um, you know, we the belief in the group was is going gonna, is gonna to grow. And they're a good group, I've said all along, you know, they're a, they're a good group to work with. I don't have to deal with issues and problems with players and players' attitude. But we, you know, it's still a hell of a lot of work to, to, to go into the players from the, on the training ground point of view and um, and we'll keep piling it in and we'll get better and we'll keep learning and um, and hopefully we have more nights like this away from home and maybe just turn that result from a draw into a win. But as long as they keep learning and they, and they keep giving everything, and I said to him as well that they're a real together group. This club sort of got, got that feeling back, in, in my opinion, and I'm not being too critical. But the feeling is is a togetherness, and it has to be um, when it's when it's backs against the wall, everybody against you scenario. There's naturally going to be a debate about the VAR calls, but your take on the ones we saw tonight? Uh, do you know what I'm just? Uh, uh, which one? First one, second one, fifth one, eighteenth one. You know, it's just, just so many. That it just every time it just seemed, you know, they scored or it was, you know, went to VAR or whatever. I've, you know, I've, I've really, when you're involved emotionally in the game, you know, when it comes up, you don't really have time to to digest and reflect on it. And I've still haven't. You know, I'm I'm delighted with our goal. Um, we changed a couple of little bits. You know, at, at half time. Um, Tactically, and we, we thought we were, we, we were okay in that. Delighted with our goal, a bit disappointed in their goal. We've had a couple of re really, you know, you know, simple mistakes that we've made. Really, the, the, the boys found a great cross, but we've not really defended it as well as we we could do. And then the lead up to that, we've given the ball away cheap play. Um, and um, and at this level, you know, late on they're going to put it in the box. They found a, it's found a fabulous cross. 
uh, and a finish that, uh, that obviously changes the feeling, but not too much in my opinion uh, and not too much in that changing room.